Hey guys, it's Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. For today, I have kind of a different video for you guys. I'm going to be doing a sticker organization video, but it's a little bit different than I think what you're used to seeing. So a little backstory, um, a lot of people have been asking me to do an organization video, like how I store my stickers, etc. And honestly, I don't. <laughs> um, I have a really horrible system right now, if you can even call it that. Um, basically, it's just stickers everywhere on my desk in different piles, and I it's like I know where everything is, but it looks like just a total mess. So I have been um, planning and kind of starting this organization process, and I kept saying, okay, I'll film something as soon as I get that set up. But I had this idea where I can kind of show you the process of getting everything neat and organized. Um, so it'd be kind of like a before, middle, and after video. So you get you get to see um, just kind of how everything gets arranged into, you know, my hopefully my final setup. So for right now, I'm going to do the before and don't get too scared. It is pretty bad. Um, I will admit that right now. And hopefully, I really, really am hoping that, you know, over the summer when I have time that I can really get everything cleaned up. I will be watching a lot of other people's videos on how they organize stickers so that I can get some good ideas. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I will show you what my desk looks like right now. I'm not planning on cleaning anything up, so this is just going to be a very realistic look at what my planning space looks like currently. Okay, so this is pretty much my planning space in all its glory. As you can see, this is where my tripod is. I put my camera right on there. And then directly underneath is like the only clean spot on my desk where I film. And so that is where I do my planning. On this side, I've got my current kit, some foiled icons I see in the back, my IEP stickers, the Starbucks card that I rip my washi with. Um, I see some coffee stickers, etc. So when I plan, I usually have a pile on this side, some film edit upload stickers, my scissors, pen, a pencil, um, etc. And here is another random pile of stickers that I was talking about. I don't even know. I think those are my leftover stickers that I haven't sorted yet. So I've just been shoving them into this pile. I have an acrylic case here that I use to store larger sheets of stickers and I started getting lazy putting them back inside the drawers and so I just lay them on top. I've got this little thing right here for my freebies and my samples in this corner and I'm actually tackling those freebies right now. And then yeah, the rest of the stuff on my little shelf right here are just kind of random. Okay, on this side next to my desk is my Rascal cart that I got from Ikea and it has two of these like little storage things that I got from Marshall's. I think they were maybe like five or seven dollars each, so it was pretty cheap. And this first one is where all my icons are. Um, I only have like three sections, and so it's not divided very well. Like this first section is all my food and drinks, and then the second section is work and travel. And then the last one is literally everything else. And so there are emojis in here, um, filming stickers, again, more like character stickers, planning, um, makeup, house chores, grocery shopping, etc. Everything else that's not food, drink, work, or travel goes in that third section. So it's pretty much just a random jumble of everything. And then on the top shelf here is leftover kits. And so on this side, we've got the headers and little things. And then I have the checklist here in the front. And then the back is just all the other leftover sheets. So half boxes, quarter boxes, etc. And then um, this binder right here is what I've started to work on in terms of organizing my freebies and samples. So I'll show you that in just a second. So that's pretty much it in terms of my current setup. I was really not kidding around when I said I don't have much of a system going on. It's not very effective. I don't suggest you to follow my lead at all right now. Um, so yeah, here is the before. Okay, so here is that binder that I said I started to work on to organize my freebies and my samples. So let me really quickly show you what I've done so far and hopefully in my next video I will have, or in my next um, segment of the video, I will have done a lot more. So I got this from Target. I think it was in the dollar spot section. It was probably $3. And inside I bought these little dividers also from that dollar section as well. And I divided it into, well, six things, but there's one that I don't know what I wanna use it for yet. I've got food and drinks, household, activities, functional, blank, and then seasonal. So what I've been doing or what I've been trying to do is cutting out my samplers um, into individual icons and putting them into these sections because I am so tired of 
getting all these cool samplers and freebies and then like never using the stickers and um, just being too lazy to go through this entire thing to find one specific sticker that I need. And they end up like not getting touched and I just feel like it's such a waste because they have so many great stickers that I could totally use. So what I wanna do is cut them all out and put them into these sections um, so that if I do need something, I know exactly where to go find it and then I won't have to sift through like 100 sheets of samplers. So how I do this is, um, this is like thick cardboard paper and I've used this heavyweight mixed paper so it's pretty thick um, from, and I got that from Target. So I cut it out to fit these little sections. I hole punch them with my little hole puncher here. And then um, I label at the top, like this one's all the food. I've got coffee here, other drinks on this side. If you look in household, I have all my leftover bill due stickers, payday stickers, laundry, etc. So there's pretty much a lot of different sections I'm planning to add. And I just have, as you can see, I haven't gotten very far after like two weeks of work, um, I still have so many stickers left to organize. So this will probably take me a while, but I think it'll be worth it because then I don't just waste all those stickers or get frustrated looking through that little stack. So yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. And hopefully the next time I check in with you guys, I will have done a little bit more. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've worked on my organization stuff. Today I just went to go to the container store and I picked up this 13 pocket accordion receipt file. I've seen a lot of other people use this for storing their stickers, so I decided I'd just buy one and see how it works. If it doesn't, then I will go and return it um, tomorrow. So basically it just comes like this. It's very small. They had one that was bigger, but it was like humongous and I felt like my smaller stickers would get lost in the cracks and I don't know, I just felt like this one was probably better. So I was kind of testing this out off camera. Um, my little sticker sheets, the four, I think these are like four by six ones, they fit really nicely in here because um, they just perfectly fit into the pocket. But I also have some larger sheets that don't really fit. So I have this one from Moonlight Paper Co. Um, like it sticks out past where the tabs end or where the folders end. I have an even bigger one. This is from Planner Penny. And as you can see, that one really, really doesn't fit. Oh my gosh, how did this little sticker get stuck on there? Um, so yeah, as you can see, this really doesn't fit. So I don't really want um, the stickers to stick out past the, the folders just because then I can't see what's behind it and it's kind of annoying to have to um, look behind it. So. I think I'm gonna return it. I don't think this is gonna work for me. I'm trying to find one system that's kind of like foolproof and will just be awesome for all my stickers. I don't wanna store some here, some there. I just want one system for everything. So um, I think I'm gonna have to go back tomorrow to return this and I'll have to, um, I guess, explore another option. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but I will check back in with you guys when I have something new. Hey guys, so I'm back today and I think it's June 16th or something. Um, I bought, I went to the container store yesterday, so today's the day after. I haven't returned that thing yet, but I did go to Daiso today and I picked up this little storage container. Um, for those of you that don't know, Daiso is like a Japanese version of the dollar store. Everything in the store is $1.50. Some things are a little bit more, but for the most part, they're just $1.50 and that's how much this was. Um, it is quite large, so it barely fits in my camera's frame. This is like as zoomed out as I can get, but let's see if my larger stickers will fit. Oh yeah, so they will fit this way. If I, um, this one from Planner Penny is still just a little bit big, but it'll do, it'll work. Let's see, here's another bigger sheet from Kylie and Chaos, that works. Hmm, what else? got one here from Planner Frenzy that's bigger. Yeah, so these do fit my bigger stickers really nicely. So I think what I'm going to do is I still have this um, heavyweight mixed paper that I got from that I got from Target. So maybe what I want to do here is, okay, hold on. Let me take out one sheet really quick. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this paper to make um, 
little folders for my stickers so I can probably fold it in half. I don't think it's going to fit very nicely. Let's see. Pretty thick paper, so it's a little hard to fold. But, um, yeah, it doesn't fit very, it's like just slightly off. I don't know if you can see it. Like, I just can't push it in. So that means I'll have to trim like a millimeter or maybe a centimeter off the sides. And so give me a second. Let me do that really quick. Okay, so I finally got it to fit in here. And then I can probably just create little tabs on the top. And then I can put my stickers in like so. So the littler ones, as well as some bigger ones like this. And I'll just create multiple little folder tabs or multiple little folders with tabs to label all of them. And this should be enough space for all my stickers. But I think that's going to be the best system I can think of right now. I think um, everything else just has been very ineffective for me. Um, things still end up being a mess. And I think with this box, everything can just be organized in one place. So let me go ahead and do a couple of these and then I'll show you what they end up looking like. Okay, so as you can see, I've started to organize all my stickers into different piles, like I have cleaning, um, happy mail, groceries, um, beauty, I think this is like spending or activities, um, YouTube, etc. So they're all in different piles right now. Um, I have more that I haven't separated yet, but here is what I'm thinking, here's my box, here's the folders that I wanna put the stickers in. Um, I've shared this in a previous haul video, but I got this Girl Boss design kit from Nicolette Amore Designs, and it came with these little things, and at the time I didn't know what they were. Um, I was like, uh, do you put it, put string through it or something? Um, and a lot of people commented and said that they were page tabs. So now that I know, these are really perfect because I think I'm going to um, use these. I folded this one up already, but I'm going to um, stick it, let's see, like this onto each of the folders so that there is a pretty tab sticking out and I can label what this section is for. So that's what I'm planning to do. Unfortunately, I don't quite have enough for how many different sections I want. So I did reach out to her on Instagram um, and asked if she had any extras that I could purchase from her. If not, I think I'm just going to have to um, make some myself or just, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But um, that's what I'm gonna start with. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with my first tab here. And to label them, I decided to use um, my Sharpie permanent marker in ultra fine point. Perfect, so there's one of my tabs. And I do like my tabs to be on the back side of the folder so that I can go like this and open it up um, in front. I don't know, I think it's just a personal preference. I don't know if um, it, it's supposed to go that way or the other way, but yeah. And now, let me zoom you out. I'm just going to go ahead and put in all my coffee and tea stickers, which there are quite a few. Okay, so here are all my coffee and tea stickers. I have way too many. I mean, I knew I had a lot, but I didn't realize I had um, this much. But anyways, I'm going to put the bigger sheets in the back. All right, and there is my very first folder with all my coffees and teas, and that will just go into my bin like so. So there's my first folder. Into my bin it goes. So I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to try to do as many of these as I can right now, and then I will check back with you in a little bit. So 
So here are all the tabs that I have right now. I had 16 that I got from Nicolette. Um, she will be sending me more, but I don't think I'm going to get them in time before I plan to upload this video. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to create the, the folders, but I won't put the tabs on until after I get it. So you guys won't get to see that part, but hopefully you'll be able to visualize kind of what it'll look like because it'll just be pretty much this, but more. Um, so yeah, so far I really like this and let's just see how they... Let's see how they look in my little box. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Oh, they're kind of falling down. Uh oh, let's see. Maybe this can go behind. So here are my little tabs and then I've just got the binders in the back to kind of take up space. I don't quite know how this is gonna work, but um, I don't know. I'll update you guys once I figure something out. Okay, so here's my updated desk area after I've organized it. And just really quickly, I'll show you kind of how I've rearranged it. So here in the center, we've just got my planner. And then here is the current weekly kit that I'm using. I just have that to the side. Um, over here, this I already had from before. I just keep some stationary supplies in there. Um, the main things I use are my scissors and my whiteouts. Of course, I have these out. Also, my gift card for ripping um, washi strips and washi tape and stuff. And then this box used to be what I stored my samplers in. I've actually converted it to being a clip box, so that's where all my planner clips are. I've got my post-it notes here, and then um, this acrylic drawer has now moved over here. What I use it for now is um, samplers that I haven't sorted through yet, still a lot. And then here we've got all the icons that I cut out from kits and things like that. And then on the in the bottom drawer are just single page kits or um, things like that that I get sent as like freebies. Um, but it's really hard for me to use like one page kits. So I'm just going to keep them in there and um, occasionally pull pieces out of them when I need. And then here on the top shelf is um, still my tripod over here. It's a Velbon Mini. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. And then for my lighting, a lot of people also have asked about that. So let me just show you really quick. This is, ooh, I don't know if I can darken it a little bit. It's like super bright on the wall. But um, I bought this lamp from Ikea and it was maybe $7, $10, something like that. Really, really cheap. So I have two of them. I have one here on this side of my desk and then I have another one over here um, on that side of my desk. So they just basically surround my desk and I turn them both on when I film and I replace the bulb with a daytime bulb so that it's um, not so warm in color and that's how I get the lighting that I do that I use for my planning and then here's my cart um, I did switch up my sticker organization system and I actually really loved it I've been using this system the last couple of days for my planning and it's just been so easy because I sit right here and then I just have to reach over right over here just to grab everything I need and um, like I mentioned I don't have all the tabs yet these are the ones that I do have tabbed and then I created a bunch um, behind it. These will be tabbed once I get those tabs in from Nicolette. And I have glitter header sections, a seasonal section. These are all my kit leftovers, um, things like that. And then behind all these folders, this is where I keep all of the kits that I have. I leave them in the cello bags. And so there's that. Behind that, I've just got some sticker books. Um, I have a Coffee Monsters Co. like rewards thing let's see some planner covers and then this is the binder that I showed earlier with all of my cutout sampler icons and things like that and then I have my Stadler markers I actually don't really use the markers to write I use it as a um, prop for my planner when I'm writing on Wednesday I stick the marker pack underneath so that it's a little more elevated and I can write more easily so oh wait last thing um, on my cart here I've got um, my recollections planner, whoops, recollections planner here, my new Erin Condren, and then a clipboard in the back. So that's pretty much the top shelf of my cart. The bottom shelves aren't really much of anything. I just have a box with my washi, um, rolls, and then I have a box for cards and things like that. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for my setup. And I really like how everything is organized now. I think it's really effective for me, um, even though it's only been like two or three days that I've been doing this, but, um, it's already been really awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit lengthy, so I hope you grabbed a snack, grabbed a drink, and just kind of settled in. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.
Bye.